Are we still going to post all of them to get like the uh, like on this on the same channel? Like another same yeah. channel? Yeah. Okay. Cool. Yeah. Sorry. Well, like same day, we'll just post them and go from there. It doesn't have it doesn't be in a Monday like I do my Monday thing. Pick a day you guys want to do it, and we'll all post it the same day. Cool. All right. Hey, welcome back to No Hype Beer Reviews. Unless you're watching this on Matt's channel at Matt's Beer Reviews or the Nerd Sense Guy's channel, uh, we have a mystery beer courtesy of Max. Thank you so much, Max. Really appreciate it, man. He sent off a bunch of mystery beers just to keep that story short. <laughs> uh, he sent off a crap ton of beers, and many of them were mystery beers. And this is mystery beer number five. You guys ready to pop it open? Let's do it. Pour it out. Can I, pa- can I pause this for a second? I was hoping you were going to speak like Kevin from The Office when he wanted to use less words, more speak. <laughs> Be like, Max and beer, not everybody get, we do now. I like how, it is, yeah. <laughs> I like how you, uh, Kyle and Matt your beer, your beer are wrapped in one way, and then Sean and I, ours look like a bottle of bitters. <laughs> <laughs> like a bottle of bitters. That's a good way to put it. That's funny. It's dark beer. Okay, okay, okay. It's dark, but I'm still lean. I'm gonna lean barley one in this because it has a huge mahogany hue to it. I love saying hue. Hue? hue? Yeah. If you look, Humans? if you Humans? if you, if you lift it up and you look through the bottom of your glass, it's just yeah. rich mahogany. It smells of important wooden books. Do you guys yeah. have a bunch of sediment and floaters? Uh, uh not I that can, I can see. No. Oh, I have a bunch. I can't tell. I don't have particularly good lighting in here. There's so a gigantic a there's a gigantic yeast cake in this thing. Um uh, you know, if I yeah. were to Oh, I oh, you your whole bottle. Yeah. Yeah. Probably should have rolled it. Shit. No, I don't even have the, No, uh, I don't have aroma. I don't think I have anything in here. Yeah. I have a bunch, yeah. Have. <laughs> These fives are the same fives, right? Uh, <laughs> mine has like yet yeah, no Oh yeah, this is definitely sediment. Okay. And then yeah, if you look at the bottom, at least mine, yeah, like yeah, yeah, yeah. there's a lot right. of cake down at the bottom. Mine's clean, but I don't know. Whatever. We'll find out. I, oh, I, I I did I did uh, take this from like uh it, it, like cellar temp beer, you know, and then I put it in my fridge on its side to okay. chill, and then so mm-hmm. maybe my jostling has. Mine's only been upright, yeah. I actually put mine through like a centrifuge and then wrote it around the back roads for a little bit before I poured it. <laughs> yeah. That's the best way. That's what they That's, say is the best yeah. way to do it. Yeah, yeah that is, uh, Randy Mosher says that in his yeah. drink beer book. You know, and you could ride it, four road it, off road it for a four wheeler for a little bit before you drink any beer. Yeah. I'm going to get back to my, I'll back tell you my what. Randy book. <laughs> i tell you what. I already, I huffed this beer like three times already and I, can't really tell you much about it, to be honest with you. It smells like an aged, it smells like an aged like barley wine stout mix with a the ever so slightest da- dabble of lactose. But I, yeah, I am not confident fun, about any of that. I'm not confident about any of that. Do you smell like- alcohol? Or does anyone else smell alcohol? No, I kind of poured too no, much no, to see if no, I was getting sediment, but no. No. it smells like molasses raisins. I get raisin sure. Prune. Prune prune maybe prune's a better way to put it. Maybe not molasses. That you know what? Prune. Yeah. I, I, I still no. think it's alcohol, but I get prune. It's someone's like what? <laughs> well you, you quad guys have blend. To you have to appreciate no, there's no it's not a Belgian beer because there's no Belgian yeast or, or Belgian candy sugar in it, it would be way sweeter. Uh, maybe in the taste, but you have to appreciate that actual like uh Kyle and I um drank a mystery beer from Max that was non alcoholic, so I think he's kind of remembering that experience. Oh, Max is a madman. Yeah, we haven't mentioned that. Like he's like a mad scientist. He yeah, sent a, a mystery beer that had no alcohol. He sent one that had chicken broth in it. I mean, the, you you can't go in with chicken. Are you broth. serious? I, I not I, no, I, not chicken broth, chickens. Chickens, yeah. So I okay. purposely yeah. didn't watch them those because I didn't know if UPS would magically find the find the package, but now I have to go watch yeah. it. Holy shit. Yeah. So so we don't even know what we're playing with here. This this no. could be this might not be beer. This could be cola, and we're just looking like that's idiots. the best part about this right <laughs> beers. Wow, 
Right, well, regardless of whether this is cola or not, I'm definitely getting sort of that sort of dried, that prune kind of that dark fruit type of look there. It's like a uh, experimental Coke flavor, Coca Cola Plum. It's it's the new uh, Coke <laughs> coffee that they're doing. Yeah. I don't know. I, I swear, I feel like a nail polish alcohol get, kind of a thing. I, I can't get over that. Not, I don't I'm get getting, much else though. Like I get a little bit of prune. It's not I really definitely really over I'm getting grape I too. Have to look at the look at the yeast if you have anything in the actually, bottom. Was, you know what, Sean? I will I will I will back you up on that. I'm getting a little bit of a bubblicious hubba bubba yeah. kind of grapey thing on there. That's probably the probably the biggest thing I get off there. And I, honestly, everything I get and everything I say about this beer is like minimal. It's like very, very soft. Like that's like there's nothing in here that's jumping out and like screaming at me. It's like it's wafts of minimalist stuff. Yeah. Also, oh, so, so the fact that the fact that I don't have a strong nose isn't just me. Fair enough. Yeah, no, it's a weak nose. Cheers. 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 So I was gonna Ooh. be like a cool guy because I thought this is gonna be low ABV, and I was actually gonna chug the whole thing, and I took two gulps, and I was like, stop. <laughs> okay, do you guys taste alcohol? No. I'm hmm. getting like a nice level of sweetness. The grapiness is still there. I get alcohol in this. Not I really. Get, I get alcohol. I, I don't get too much alcohol. I would say this I could be know. someone's double buck. Yeah. I'm definitely not getting like uh an alcohol kit. I I'm getting something that tastes like there's like like there's alcohol in it, but I'm not getting that ethanol kind of a note, you know? No, neither. I'm getting like, actual alcohol taste. These are definitely um, fives. <laughs> <laughs> I get like chocolate. I, I'm getting a fake pseudo wine characteristic. That grape thing takes it to another level. Like there's a grape mustiness, like a purple blurple, mm. like purple grape, like the hubba bubba grape is kind of like bigger for me. And it's and when I think of hubba bubba, like uh, grape, I think of yeast phenolic, I think of wine. So, but I'm also getting chocolate. Yeah. It's kind of a weird beverage. I don't even want to call it beer. I want to call it a yeah. beverage. What the Bubba Bubba being mentioned four times in one beer video has ever happened before? What, what are the possibilities? It's not full <laughs> raisin that. But it's almost because I do get chocolate, I do get like the raisin plum thing, but then it also doesn't come across like raisin nut, which doesn't make any sense because <laughs> that's what that should taste like, you know. Mm -hmm. Um, yeah, and I, yeah, I don't know. I, you could tell me a lot of styles, like Matt initially said, a barley wine stout mix. I, I could believe you if it's a mix of those two styles. If this was, I don't think it's Belgian. I, I, I do agree. Like it doesn't have that kind of a thing, but it, you, you could tell me a, a chocolate forward doppel, doppelbach or something. I'd also I'm believe thinking, that. If I let it play on the back of my palate and swish it around my mouth, then I get the booze you're talking about. But if I don't do that, if I just take a sip and I just let it go, not really, but well, here's the thing. And like, I'm going to contradict myself here like several times. I could actually talk myself into this being a Belgian beer, but being a Belgian stout, not a Belgian candy sugared beer. Mm. So like there's no there's no Belgian yeast really at omnipresent, but there's no Belgian candy sugar, but it does have a dryness because it's sweet, but it finishes there's some dryness to it. So that is a Belgian characteristic. And while I don't think it's one of their beers. I think this is a whoever drink whoever made this beverage loves dogfish head. Hmm. Interesting. I, I'm thinking I would not have made that it's, connection. It's a, well, it's a kooky, it's a kooky ingredient beer, or it's a kooky okay. ingredient beverage, and that's, that's where right. I'm leaning in at. Like, it's not a dogfish head beer unless it's really old because there's no embossedness. I, I, I yeah. Given so given the. No I don't feel any embossing on it, so I doubt it's a, a dogfish head beer. But it's somebody that drank dogfish head beer and like likes the kookiness that Sam has his brewers do. He doesn't do it. His yeah, and it's do. a very generic bottle. Well, yeah. it's a bottle. 
How many right. people? How many people make bottles? It's well, probably, no. you, know what this, you know what you know what this is? This is fucking Budweiser is actually what it is. <laughs> no, but I more meant like there's not it's not going to be like some some little it's not going to be a German double like a legit German double box or something like that because like it's not. I would I would almost bet everything I have that this is not a lagered beer, so it's not a double buck. It's got to be a nail. It's too sweet, and there's no kind of like um like lager component to it. Like, if I'm wrong, I'm wrong. But I would, I would, I would, I would go out of my way. I would actually lean more like I don't know. Maybe I'm wrong. I don't know. I- I'm actually gonna double down on double block. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna double down on double block. It just I think feels to me. Like, the last. I will tell you this. I will bet. Everything on earth, this is in Doppelbach, but I will actually hedge my bet and say if it's any kind of Bach, it's a Weizenbach and not a Doppelbach. Okay. But I don't think it's that either. You know what I mean? Like, it, it, there's something about it, but it, 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 it's no way. It, there's no way it's a Doppelbach. No. It, just, it, it, it feels like sort of like, it feels a little bit almost like when Sam did their Doppelbach a few years ago. It's a little bit like that beer to me, like like a like, weird American take on what it could be. This is by far and away the more, one of the more interesting mystery beers I've done in quite some time. Yes, and, I agree. And, and I am enjoying it. No one's really said that. This is I I I, I like what I'm drinking. Yeah, but I can't make heads or tails of it. Yeah. Oh, interesting. Why? What what what, what don't you like about it, Kyle? The alcohol, I, I, I don't, I, I don't, I don't know. I don't like the flavor combination too much. I don't like the alcohol hmm. I'm getting. I, yeah, I don't like this beer. Huh. Interesting. Matt, flavor wise, for you, I think there's a fruit involved. I think there's raspberry in this. Well, no, but or like, do you of... do you like the beer? Um, I like it in the fact that it's making me think. You know, I'm not going to sit here and say viscerally like, "Oh, this is a great beverage," but the fact that it's sitting here, he, sitting here, and making me go, "Oh, is it this? Is it that? Is it this? Is it that?" I yeah. like that about the beer. You know what I mean? Because there is a fruitiness uh, to it. I don't know if it's raspberry addition coming from the beer itself or a different fruit, but like there is this fruit thing. That's what I'm saying. Like it could be a stout barley wine mix because it, it, it comes across like a dark barley wine, or like we're saying Doppelbach or. You know, even a quad that got stripped of the Belgian characteristics. That's like, why I was thinking blend in the beginning, like a blend of a. I wouldn't say I don't think I was saying quad, but like a blend of a quad and something else. Like it has, it has yeah, very much candied sweetness. Yeah. So tip, typically, when beers are this kind of polarizing, in what time is it right now? We have to make sure Kyle gets to it. Yeah, nine minutes. Nine minutes. Okay. okay. We um. When beers are this askew and this polarizing, I go in a couple of different directions. One, I think the beer is going to be more uh, a bigger, more roastier version of what we think because I think it's has age on it. Like, n- not in the same way that that JW Lee's has age on it, because that J- JW Lee's that we did previously was a 2015 slash 16 version that was canned relatively recently. This is almost like a Russian Imperial Stout that was aged like seven years ago that has like de-evolved into something. Like it's not necessarily what the beer was when it was originally done, but it's like it has those fruity components. It has a roast. It has impact and alcohol. But since it's past its prime, it's kind of like it's 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 fallen off but in a weird way that's kind of enjoyable, but we're not quite sure. Because when you think about these beers, you, you almost think about them exclusively in like a, a current day state that they were brewed like a month ago, a week ago, a year ago. I could see this having years on it and just being just an older beer that was Russian Imperial Stout that's super fruity forward that has no fruit in it, but it still exhibits the fruit, lost its hoopspa, lost its aggressiveness, and now is kind of a shell of its shell. So, yeah. You know, there was a there's a a local um, brewery that did like sort of a a, um, a weird take on a Baltic porter, and this is reminding me of that in a big way. It's not, it wasn't like what we, I would call Baltic porter. Don't get me wrong, but it, it reminded me of what they called it. And, and that's no, Baltic porter is a good to, one. Yeah. So like, but I, I'm thinking like this might be an adjunct heavy sort of a Baltic porter, or maybe it is. Yeah, I don't know. Like it, it is making me kind of get all over the place and, and try to 
think of where I've had something like this at all, you know? It, so even if this isn't like my favorite beer I've had, it's making me go go a little crazy. So it's, mm-hmm. it's really interesting, you know? No, considering where Max lives and what you said, if you if you told me this is a 2014 Smutty Nose Robust Baltic Porter, I would not. Oh be shit! <laughs> I hate you and your mother. What the fuck, man? That could That's be a it. really good pull because That's they a they, pull. they yeah because Smutty Nose they, they sometimes they did those those uh, in in wine. Um, so you get the grapiness and st- they're in the stubbier bottles though. That's the only thing that's making me think. Of oh, let's that. find out. True. Let's find out. Okay. Let's okay. Well, well, everybody say what they think it is. 10 plus. I, say, I say this is, this is a 2015. This is a 2015 stout at uh 9.2%. 2015 stout. Imperial, no, robust porter. I'm gonna steal my shit. A 2019 robust porter, no, 2000, not 2019. It is a nine percent robust porter that is 2000 from 2015. That's me. I'm gonna go with a uh, oh, nine and a half percent Baltic porter, uh, with adjuncts. I don't know what it is, but sure. <laughs> it's, fuck it. I'm gonna stay with my. Doppelbach. I don't care. I'm going to go Doppelbach. Nine, even. I'm going to say it's double digits. I'll just say 10. But I think it's double digits. And it's it's a, a quad stout barley wine Doppelbach blend. <laughs> I'm thinking blend, too. But I'm just going to stay. But but I, I started saying Doppelbach at the beginning, so I'm sticking to it. This kind of makes sense. I I like I like I like how he wrote the uh, yeah. ABV nine six. Okay, I was close. I said nine and a half. Not so bad. <laughs> Belgian style quad in homage to a style that we are deeply in love with. I didn't know they made this. Um. You can go back about a week and a half and watch my review on this. And what I say is this beer is nothing to do with the Belgian quad. It is not a Belgian influence in any form or fashion. It is basically what they were trying to do here with this beer is trying to imitate. um, I believe what they wrote on their website was they're trying to imitate Rochefort 10. On this, it's not going to be in a bottle. You actually have to go and see no, what they write, yeah, yeah. and it's yeah, yeah. nothing to do with that beer whatsoever. Cool. And uh, I, I reviewed this and posted a review probably I would say about a week, week and a half ago. And I, I, I had I, it long ago, like and I didn't even recall it. it. Like I didn't once think of this beer when I was drinking it. So it, uh, this is not the a quad, nose, but I like it. I mean, I'm not no, I, it. I think it's good. I'm still. It still gives me double bock vibes. It's a, it's yeah, a weird I, beer. I don't. I don't think you're wrong, though, Sean. I, I thought that as well, to be honest. But like, in on, I sort of, I, I sort of stand by where I said it tasted like like a, like a weird American version of a double double bock. It did, it was certainly wasn't traditional in, in any way. Huh. I've had a lot of quads in my life. It's one of my favorite styles. I've never had a quad that drinks like this. Oh I yeah, no, this is this not. Is, yeah. No. Nope. nope. This beer is. I, I. I mean. I know it's not false advertising because you can call beer whatever style you want, but <laughs> that's not. This is not a quad. But this is the beer that that you're gonna go on treehouse groups and they're gonna be like, I never liked quads before, but this quad is the greatest <laughs> quad I've ever had in my life. So to, to, I mean, to that extent, in uh, to give those guys props is that like I posted this review and I was like, I love quads. It's one of my favorite styles. I'm like, and while this beer is enjoyable to drink, it is no way, shape, or form even close to a quad. And almost every single person's like, "You're right." And it yeah. wasn't like, uh, "Oh, you, oh, you do beer reviews." You're right. It was like, "No, dude." Like, there's people that like complain constantly about what I say, and they're like, "No, you're right. This is not. This is not that. <laughs> that what they were trying to do." Well, what uh, I'm, glad, I'm, glad that, I'm glad that. So I'm glad I tried so this glad without I tried knowing this was a quad because I really like this, 
And if I knew the Tiger Bird quad, I would have been like, what is this bullshit? Right off the bat. <laughs> For uh, people at home, this is what their tasting notes are. Um, we taste burnt sugar, dark cherries, raisins, plum, sweet cola, dark fruits, Belgian yeast, and mixed spices. We did say some of that stuff. Plum, raisins, cola. <laughs> but no well, Belgian it- yeast. A lot of dark, a, a dark fruits in general, and the biggest thing there I take away, and it's what I said in my review, is that it, cola. When I say cola, it's not so much cola in flavor, but cola in carbonation. It's like aggressively carbonated, which we didn't talk about at all during the review. But it has it, it, it's very sprightly, for the lack of a better term. Yeah, and honestly, I, I sort of agree with almost all of this except that Belgian yeast. I'm not getting Belgian yeast here at all. No. 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 Even knowing what but, this beer is supposed to be and drinking it again, I don't. Well, that's a hard pass for me. Interesting, because I, I really do. I I do think this is a beer. It's just not quad in any way. <laughs> yeah, I, yeah. It is. No, and I love Treehouse. I love quads. This this. This is a dud for me. But I think I think this is like it, it, like I think I said. I'm gonna keep saying. I think I said, but um, I think I said I I didn't like this based off of what it it, it was dictated as. But I actually enjoyed the beer in general, yeah. um, as a beer, not as a Belgian beer, um, uh, just because it was fun. Uh, but it's not a Belgian. Born beer, but you also have to understand that, like, I'm pretty sure this is the first time I've ever made a Belgian influenced beer. So, like, have they? I don't think I've made any, like, maybe a wit beer or saison, some bullshit like that, but a Belgian dark, something rich and dark. I don't think I've done it before. So, as a first try, like if somebody if somebody homebrewed this and said this is my first attempt at a Belgian beer, not I'm trying to associate Treehouse with homebrew, but I'd be like, I'm like, it's not, it's not, it's not my favorite. I'm like, this isn't a great Belgian beer, but it's tasty. I like what I'm drinking. That's what I would say. Hi, Bruce. Hi, Bruce. I gotta go hang out with my wife. So yeah. Okay. <sighs> Let us know what she thinks about the Treehouse Belgian beer. She's not going to try these beers. <laughs> she's gonna, she would smell these and be like, no, no. Wait, wait, wait. Before you go, what are you watching? Uh, this stupid new um, woman who stupid. used to be married to Ben Affleck, um, her family movie. Jennifer Lopez? No. Yeah, Gardner. Another Jennifer. Gardner. 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 Uh, like, she, yes, has a movie. she has a family movie? Yeah, yes. Say yes. Oh. That's okay. We don't care. It's gonna be awful. It's gonna be. It won't be as bad as this beer, but it's gonna be. Awful. So, Kyle, nine point six, <laughs> nine point six percent. Just chug this right now, and it may be better. I'm good. Mine doesn't say that. Mine doesn't have that. So, oh, did he not do I that know. for just? No, he didn't just do me? it for us. No, Mike, did Mike did did, did yours do it? Oh. Huh, yeah. Yeah. Max, oh. you guys more, I guess. Yeah, yeah, Max. So, fuck you, Max. No big deal. Kyle, take us home. If you're if you're watching this on one person's channel, make sure you subscribe and check out the other people's channels as well. Nerd Sense, massive beer reviews, no hype beer reviews. Thanks for watching. Thanks again, Max. Really appreciate it. Yeah, thanks, and, Max. Uh, goodbye, everyone. Have a good day. Cheers. <laughs>